Hello, my name is Karen Hughes and I am the Domestic Violence Clinical Services Coordinator at the Life Crisis Center and I want to welcome you to the Life Crisis Today. Every year we do an art show with clients artwork that we've asked them to do. They do an art project and this helps the client in order to help them in their healing and in their processing of all the trauma they've been through. But instead of having an art show, we're actually going to bring it to you. We're going take pictures and show you through the pictures virtually all their artwork. The first slide we're going to see is on masks. The masks we show the world. We're going to hide what things. Everything is going to be nice and wonderful. And then the next side, on the inside, is the mask they don't show the world. Their pain, the suffering that they've had. Things they're hiding from themselves and from mostly from other people that they don't want people to know. But then they began walking in their shoes. They realized that they're in abuse. They're walking in their abuse. So once she was in their abuse, on the rocks, rocky, hard stuff. And then the other shoe was walking out of their abuse, walking on the grass, bright colors, fun, moving forward. The windows represent either them looking out or other people looking in on their abuse. Sometimes clients were looking out their windows and they're seeing that the world's different than what they were living. Or maybe somebody, they were afraid somebody was going to look in on them. Wind chimes are in our communities. Think about that, that little tiny tinkle that you hear. Well, the clients were asked to create their wind chime. Hear me, I am your neighbor. I am down the street. Hear me, hear my abuse, hear what I'm going through. Even if it's a small tinkle, or if there's a big raging storm, it may hear lots of clanging, but hear me. One in three women and one in five men are victims of abuse. So hear me, you probably know me. Often in abuse, they have to figure out how to protect themselves. So the umbrellas are our protections. Think of the storm, and they were living in a storm. And yet the umbrella, they had protection. Maybe it was a friend, maybe it was their faith, maybe it was just them holding on. Sometimes in the pictures, look in the pictures, sometimes those little tiny dots of color, of light, that was what they were seeing. They had still a little bit of light they were holding on to as the protection. Oh, but then they had aha moments. Think about the cartoons you see with a light bulb over someone's head. They used light bulbs to represent their aha, either when they're in the middle of their abuse, they've walked out of the abuse, or even in their healing. What was their aha moment? They began creating life 
without abuse. And you use your hands to do things, to create things. So that's what the hands represent, creating their life without abuse. hear from clients that they want to give a message to somebody else, another victim, another friend, another colleague that they were worried about. So they were asked to do a quilt. The quilt was ribbons of abuse. Their dear friend, think about what girls are made of, ribbons and spice and everything nice. So the ribbons were that. But then they wrote their letter, dear friend. What message do they want someone else to tell them or that they want to tell somebody else? Also reaching out in the community, they, you remember when the, we were doing painted rocks in the community, when we would leave rocks and you would find them. And that's what we did. We created those rocks and then we put them around town um, so that other people could find it. And then maybe they put that rock in their car or in their purse or in their pocket, on their bedside table. Where could they remember and somebody was thinking of them and that created their hope. We've been talking about healing. We've been in the community with the rocks, but now back with the clients and their healing and their healing hearts. It is a journey, it is a process. They have words that they talk about with their healing. And when they realize that they are healing, they increase their self-worth or their self-esteem. They begin to have confidence they realize that they are independent. They are strong, independent women. They have some self-respect as they heal. They're learning trust. They can set boundaries. And they begin to have hope. Hope for themselves. Hope for their future. Hope for their families. anchored, they're strong, and as a victim is moving towards being a survivor and thinking of themselves as a survivor, they're trees of growth. What is their trunk? What's their trunk like? Was it really strong or was it skinny? How deep were their roots? Were they anchored? Are they becoming anchored? What colors did they have? They had growth and they are seeing their growth and they're feeling their growth and they're really beginning to know that they can be a survivor. Rays of hope. 
all the hands are from clients from ages 5 to 80 that have created rays of hope. What is their hope in healing from domestic violence? Of being able to have hope in life, hope in the world, hope in relationships, hope for themselves. Rays of hope. I hope you enjoyed all the art. They did a lot of work and it really helps um, the clients as they become victims to survivors through the art as well as through support group. If you do need to join us and you have problems in your own life and trauma in your own life and abuse in your own life, you can call the Life Crisis Center. And our hotline number is 410-749-HELP. Again, that number is 410-749-4357. We also have text to chat. And all you have to do is put in 898-211 and then put in your zip code. And that will get you to the text to chat and people will answer and, and talk with you through chatting. Or we also have a Facebook page. We have a website. Our, our website is www.lifecrisiscenter.org. So there's lots of ways to reach out. If you have problems or abuse in your life, please reach out. We're here to help. I also want to thank PAC-14 for making this possible. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.